Okay, welcome to the second tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make units, teams and starting places. So let's load our previous map. Of course you may not forget how you named it because it's alphabetically sorted. So it was my first tutorial. Yes, here it is. Load. So I see we have uh, back our map again. Oh, I hate that fuck. No, not this. Graphics. File plane to 800. Okay. We have our map. No. If you want to make uh, starting places or units or whatever, you first need teams. No. Um, but yes, first we are going to make starting places. Press 5 on your keyboard, not on the keypad. So, I press 5. You sh should see regions. <coughs> so, it's also an easy tool. It's used for more than only starting places, but we'll use it only for the beginners. Okay, if you have this selected, you can click on the map or drag even an area, but we are not going to do that. You just click on the map and then you have a starting position. So let's click uh, here. As you see, I have a yellow icon here. No, so that will be the starting place of player one, let's say. So now you did in the name uh, start player one. Yeah, name doesn't matter because we are gonna use it later, and the game two doesn't recognize it automatically. In fact, Red Alert three does. Yes, Red Alert 3 of Come the Conqueror series. But in Dark Gang 2 you have to configure everything ourselves. Ok, let's go to the second place. Just uh, click again. And the pen start player 2. Create. So, it's now uh, done. You can... Uh, if you have all your starting positions of all your players, if you want a map for 8 players, you have to make 8 starting positions. Ok. And um, now you're gonna have to make teams. Uh, you never should make them more than 8, because then Dog Ranger is going to crash. For what I know. I never managed to get, for example, 10 players playing on the map. That's just impossible. Maybe some modding, but ok, I'm not going to do that. Uh, you click new. You select the team name, well, just team 1 or player 1, whatever, whatever you want. Now we have here, uh, yeah. just do again, new team 2. So double click on team 1. Most players didn't know, you can double click items here. But ok, well. Uh, the name, color, it's nothing special, yes, you have to check available to players, otherwise uh, it will be a computer player. Display statistics, yes, at the end of the battle you can display statistics if you want. Permanent radar, so if you lose your power you still have a radar. And resource store, is the resources the player is starting with, let's set it to 15,000. So here, the start camera is the start position. Well, we have already made the regions, and as you see here, uh, they are listed here. Just select for uh, the corresponding region for the player you made. So for team 1 I made start player 1 region. Click select it and click OK. As you see I have it here. Well, angel, that's the camera angel you start with, So, but that's not important for me. Well, uh, deselect 
fixed side, otherwise your player will always be Sprawler or GDA or whatever you have for mods. Uh, and tipper filtering, well, you can enable to, oh uh, yeah, you can disable and enable specified uh, units, buildings, and yeah, that's it. Just uh, as I have now, everything is green, so everything is disabled for the player. He can't build anything. But yeah, if you want for example, just disable for player one uh, GDA things or just select here from the uh, you want to disable the barracks for him ok so now the barracks level 1 and 2 is disabled ok but that we are not going to do that now it will be awful for the player <laughs> ok now go again to teams click uh, team double click to team 2 now default team is here to be um, deselected because we can only have one default team Okay, let's set the resources to the same amount, 15,000 camera, select the second camera, deselect fixed side, and definitely well, nothing needed here. Yeah. So click OK, that's done. So, um, let's save our map. I can say uh, it's now ready to play. We have two stops and positions, and we have a map. But yeah, there are no resources available. So we go to the objects tab, that's uh, two on your keyboard. As you see, there's an object. Well, with your right mouse button, deselect all teams. So if you have selected one team, just click or the right mouse button to deselect because we are going to set resources ok here we click on the resources tab and you see resource 2000, 2000 B, old resource 2000 Regen uh, yeah, Regen and resource Regen so Regen is uh, regenerating resources so they will come back and the normal resources will go permanently away when they are um, collected. But yeah, in the instant multiplayer menu you can select to make all resources regenerate. Oh, so you can use here uh, also only normal resources. That's no problem for so. Uh, select the resource you want to place or object. Well, I just zoom in. Uh, this is the F5 uh, camera as you see. So now I just click a bit around. So um, objects in Darkwing 2 are placed on squares. And as you see, units can move freely around, but uh, this is not what Darkwing 2 accepts. If you try to save now, you will get a few errors. Uh, let's show. Yeah. Was, uh, object was not zipped. So we need to zip it. Well, what you do is drag around, select them, hold control and press the down arrow. So they are now zipped. As you see, we try to save now. So yes, it's saved. But let's for example say, because you even try to zip something that can't be zipped, because uh, two objects on one square, that's impossible. So, let's say, I didn't say notice that I have placed two objects on one square, so... You think you have zipped the objects, but one object cannot be zipped. You have to find it yourself, you have to analyze, and we can see that it's around here. Well, I should drag it for better view, here around. You can see two circles, a very neat, well, very from a very small distance from them. So I'm going to delete just one. I select it just with my left mouse button and I press delete on the keyboard. And I select again, 
control down to zip the unzipped object if I deleted the zipped object let's save again and save and yes uh, for move movable units you don't have to zip them for uh, example uh, guardians or black stars or dull nooks let's say I place them a few here they have not to be zipped because they can move freely around the map so I should see them is saved without errors I'm going to need this and I can see they are now without team so they will attack any player but they will not move from themselves from their positions but ok let's continue making the resources ok uh, I have placed all the resources as you see our map is now ready to play but this one thing mm, we can't send the map now over multiplayer to play the map in multiplayer um, you have to pack it with the ZVP format and that's also just on the Dark Dragon 2 CD but there are a few tools on the internet that make it easier to use because these tools are command light so I'm not going to be advanced and I just use one of the tools to help you guys out so this was the uh, one of the objects tutorials I know just going to show you how to um, put objects for a team specified team so let's proceed uh, I want to place for example a few GDA uh, units for all players let's select a casting guard so select team you want to place it for just um, don't forget where which team is so I select team 1 I know it was on the green side because it couldn't be anywhere else so I just I just select T1 Kastka and place them. So six Kastkas. Now I select team two. Select here one, two, three, four, five, six, six Kastkas. You go save a map. My first map to drill and here you go. Our map is ready to play. We can uh, yes do what we want, place an A, and I'll now show you how it will look like. So let's start. I've overrided our uh, starting cache because I wanted some more. On my way. Ready to build. On my way. Construction ready. Yes, I have a cheat that I can see the other player. Construction, Construction complete. Power online. <sighs> Construction complete. As I thought, well, my computer uh, doesn't work. I have fucked them up with some mods, as I see. I don't know why my AE doesn't work. Maybe because I have 46-bit operating system on a... I have also an other Windows in a... 32 bit is available. Well, you see the map works, so if you had a multiplayer game, the other player would also have rigs, as you see. Yes, you see it, you see it, good. So that was it, our map works. See ya again.